Hello! Someone actually asked me a programming question outside of my classes, so I'm going to try to answer them, or at least how I think I would do it. Um, so Rodrigue asked, how do you make a sprite follow a path? So I started a little Python project here. Hopefully it's not too hard to read if you're not familiar with Python. But right now it just displays a bug. I'm not going to add a lot of features here. But we got a little bug class. It has X and Y and a sprite, basically the surface. And um, we'll just make it follow some sort of predefined path. Um, and ignore this is my reference document. See, I was working on this a long time ago. Uh, but this is my Python. I was writing a Python Pygame book thing that I never finished. But I use it for reference because it's decent. <laughs> um, anyway, so when I'm thinking of like how I want to have the character move around on its own, well, first would be I need to know what kind of direction it's going to be going and then how long it's going to move in that direction. So what I would think of is possibly, like it's two pieces of information, and it could be, in Python, it could just be a, um, what is it called, just a dictionary here, where you have a key and a value, or if we were doing something like C++, we could do something like um, action, uh, action class, and then maybe it would just have uh, variables for like, I don't know, direction, or X change, let's say X change, um, Y change, because then we can add like diagonal movement. And then um, cycle, or will you do a countdown? So the idea is we could have it say, okay, we're going to have a list of movements you're going to make, and each cycle of the game, you're going to do the next movement that you have queued up. So over here, we're going to have a self.action list. And in Python, I could just make a list. It's basically an array. Um, so we'll do that. And we'll say, um, let's just set up one thing. So this is going to maybe be a little bit messy, but I'm just trying to explaining how to do this. So we'll have. Um, Action one is an action. This is just a temporary variable. We can create a um, x change. Let's not have that change, but say action one dot y change is. We'll go upwards, and then action one dot countdown. Let's say a hundred cycles, um, or maybe we'll just make this one because then it'll be one pixel for a hundred cycles. Um, and then we'll just put that in our action list. Action list dot, what is it in Python? Is it append? Uh, action one. So right now it'll only have one action. Down here I have an update function that gets called every cycle. So we will say um, if the length of whatever's in action list is greater than zero, then we still have actions we can do actions are still in the action list. And we'll look at whatever's at the very front of it. Um, and so like we'll look at the countdown for that as well. So we'll say if action one dot, er, well sorry, self dot action list at position zero, the thing at the front, uh, if it's countdown if it happens to be equal to zero, we'll, that's the end of the action. Otherwise, do this action. So this is um, action is finished. So then we would pop of pop it off of the, the action list. Now I'm not. I don't use Python a whole ton. I do like to use it for scripting stuff. Uh, but I always have to reference stuff. I'm pretty sure. We got pop. Okay. So if the action's finished, it gets removed once the countdown is zero, and it will go on to the next action in the list. So we'll make another action a little bit later. Otherwise, we'll do the next action. So we have an X change and a Y change associated with it. We'll say that self.x position, we're going to add whatever the action list zero dot X change is self.y, y change. So x is going to be 0. That's not really going to change it at all. 
uh, but that way we can have multiple different types. Sorry, just drinking some water. Okay, so we have an update. Um, otherwise, as we're doing this, we also want to subtract from the countdown so that if we do it 100 times, then it's down to 99 times, then 98. So that updates. Okay. Down here in the game class, during run, it'll call the self NPC update. That's just my character, the NPC. So that should adjust its x and y coordinate every cycle. So let's run it. And then, so there it's going. That was 100 cycles. Now a cycle is not, you know, exactly, it's not a second. You'll have to kind of adjust for that, or if you wanted it to be like move up for five seconds, you would have to add a more com complicated timer class. But we're just going on cycles. So that's one item. Um, let's add a setup function really quick, um, just to set these up faster. So then I can say action one dot setup zero negative one and a hundred. So we can get rid of these. We'll make a self dot uh, action two is an action action two dot setup. After that, let's make it move left for two hundred cycles. So we'll add action one and then action two. We can keep adding these. I could make a constructor that. Uh, cleans this up even more, but we're just kind of doing it long way for now. And then let's go this way for 400 cycles. So we'll have three actions queued up. It'll go up first, then left, and then right. Now I don't have any like turning programmed in. Okay, it didn't do it, so we'll have to figure out why it's not. Oh, okay, so... figure. <laughs> Pop will remove it from the back. So I appended and it's removing from the back. I need to actually pop at position zero in order to get that working right. That's that's why. So I made a mistake. <laughs> I was thinking about cues and then I uh, didn't even think about like this is a list. Pop is going to pop from the back, not the front. Okay. So then that bug went through its own little, you know, set of commands. Um, so there are different ways you can implement like a path. This is just kind of how I would do it. You need to have the sort of, here's a, a queue of information. You want to do this for this many seconds. Once that's gone, the next command is do this for this many seconds. Once that command is gone, do this for this many seconds. Um, and really from there, you can customize it however you'd like. So hopefully that like kind of gave you an idea of how to begin with that. Um, and if you wanted to make something more sophisticated, you could add more information in here, different variables. You could add like a oh, rotate 90 degrees or um, grow or shrink or pause or display message or anything like that. It would just be kind of like a, a queue, a list, a sequence of commands that it's going to run through. And then you have some sort of countdown or timer to go with it. So, hope that helps.